Now, if you look at Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, and then say the person has to be convicted of being a part of an insurrection, just that they had aided the insurrection or supported it, and that's what Trump did, as well as Colorado Supreme Court has uh, felt that Trump did take part in it, and it was proven to their courts, so that's why they took him off the ballot. They're just following the 14th Amendment. If you're against uh, Trump being removed for, following, uh, for the Colorado government following the 14th Amendment, then you're not really for the Constitution. It is funny how Republicans want to get revenge on Biden for what the Colorado Supreme Court did. Thank you. Have your hand up for a question. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, so I think most of you heard Colorado that there were, uh, I guess, six Republican voters that filed uh, a lawsuit saying that Trump should be off the ballot because his candidacy violates the 14th Amendment, which was done after the Civil War to basically disable anybody from running who had, quote, participated in rebellion or insurrection. And okay, it doesn't matter that it was uh, made after the Civil War. It's still an amendment, and it still applies to, to today. What they're saying is kind of the whole January 6th makes Trump... Uh, um, that, so basically, this goes up. But there's not been any trial or any guilty finding. They're just saying this from the Colorado Supreme Court. So that's a very... I, again, the uh, 14th Amendment, Section 3, doesn't say the person has to be convicted. ...dangerous precedent to say that uh, a partisan court can just take somebody off the ballot. You know, it's one thing if somebody had been criminally convicted of those offenses, well, then they could just apply the conviction. That has not happened in this case. Um, and my fear is, is that Democrat states are going to go and move on this ground to do. Uh, what do we, what, can Republicans? Well, all states should be removing Trump from the ballot for his uh, involvement and the insurrection of January 6th. Republicans, can we just go in and say, you know, Biden, take Biden off the ballot? He let in 8 million people illegally into this country. Uh, he did not satisfy his oath of office. There's going to likely be terrorist attacks that happen in this country because of who... Okay, but uh, people moving into the United States isn't the same as an insurrection, even though... Right-wingers want to pretend that it's an invasion. So, so I think it's going to get reversed by the U.S. Supreme Court. Um, but I also think this. Uh, this, is, this is the Democrats' playbook for 24. They are going to do all this legal lawfare. They have trials for Trump. They have all this other stuff. Yeah, Trump uh, in Georgia has several charges against him for uh, election interference. And a number of the people that have been have pled guilty to uh, trying to interfere with the 2020 elections because they didn't like the fact that Trump lost. The whole election will be about all this stuff if he's the nominee. That's just a fact. I don't think it's fair. I don't think these guys are, are on the up and up. I think it's politically motivated. I think they're abusing their... It's not fair to charge Trump with crimes that he committed because Trump is Trump and justice is only fair we need to charge poor people with crimes. Power. But we win when we make the election about the American people. We win when we hold Biden accountable for his failures. We don't win when the whole election's a referendum on all those other issues and Biden's allowed to just sit in the basement and not have to face any scrutiny. So that What basement is Biden sitting in? Is the White House now a basement? That's hilarious. What? If a Republican gets uh, elected to president, is without re Republican be sitting in the basement? That's the choice that we have as Republicans going forward. And here's the deal. All the, all the issues where we've seen the DOJ and the, and, the, and the politicization and the weaponization, I'm the only guy that can actually fix that and stop it. Because it's not about me. It's f funny how he's claiming he's the only one that can fix it. This is the same dude that had... Uh, Florida changed their constitution so that he could for president while also uh, holding office in Florida, which previously it was illegal to uh, be a president and also hold a separate office in, in Florida. 
Uh, it's about restoring the Constitution and restoring a single standard of justice and protecting you from the abuses of government. I don't think you can be successful and go in if what you're doing is all about your personal retribution. Uh, that's just not going to work. That's not how the, uh, the, the founders conceived of the presidency. Well, that's going to uh, piss off a lot of right-wingers because they want to use the government to get revenge uh, against uh, Democrats for uh, Trump being charged and stuff. They love weaponizing the government. And so, so I have the opportunity not only to, to, to win the election, focus it on the issues, but get in there and actually change all this stuff so that we don't have to worry about